got our inspiration from structure. So it's all about um, the strength and power in that hair look. So we've taken inspiration from the guys' clothes as well. So just quite simple, very clean, very sophisticated and sexy. And we've just followed that through with the hair. So we've created our three ponytail look and we've then attached the other pieces of hair to it as well. So just taking them from different points and bringing them back just to create different lines, just so it's really graphic on the hair. Okay, so my top tips on creating graphic ponytails, um, I would say split the hair into sections. So for this one, we've taken a middle section out and then we've kept the side sections out and then put those ponytails in and then take different sections of hair and just crisscross them over. So sort of taking hair from the top, taking that back to the bottom ponytail and then taking the hair from the back to the and taking that to the top. It just creates that crisscross graphic ponytail look for you. Mark's actually handpicked this shade himself. Um, this colour runs through his collection and he wanted something that was uh, fashion forward but classic. So we were thrilled when he picked this. This is part of our new collection. Uh, it's a purple navy. Now the greatest thing about this is it works with any skin tone. Warm or cool. Warm or cool. So if you wanted to wear a dark but you don't like black because black is so hard to wear, this is a great one. Um, the biggest and old trends really is solid colours back. Um, there's still a lot of nail art but not, not so much as last week. I guess it's far more polished and glamorous. Yeah. Amazing. The, well, um, the whole inspiration, we wanted to go for quite um, more of a, a masculine, fem like with a feminine twist to it. So um, we decided to go for this strong quift um, that we've used, but it's got like a square squareness to the shape just to make it a little bit more directional, a little bit different. And um, we've gone this year for using really strong colour. So we've used the Goldwell um, Illumin and um, the colour wefts that we've put into the hair are actually taken from the collection colours that Aurelio is using this year. If you're going to do it yourself and you don't want it to become too fiddly then what I would suggest you do is, is take like a section from eyebrow to eyebrow to the back of the crown and then just back uh, take one sort of centimetre section out right at the front of the hairline leave that down and back comb the rest of the hair and just kind of pad that into a like little roll effect back pin that in and then just with the um, front section just smooth that back over the front of the hair so that you've created like a smoother finish so it goes over the textured bun that you've done then you've got a quiff um, and basically the placement is quite important with this look so we're taking we're starting everything from the center and working outwards where the sun would hit rather than a lot of the time you would go from the out, outside in and you'd sculpt the face. So we want to make sure that all the bronzing is hitting the front of the face first. Um, we're creating freckles today. A lot of the girls have come with freckles, they prepared them earlier. Um, but the girls who didn't, we're using um, a couple of different pencils. We're using stone lip pencil and coffee eye pencil, colder tones of brown and we're really lightly just tapping on freckles just to really give them that sort of sun kiss vibe that you would get if you were out in the sun. And all through the center of the face and we're pushing everything in. So brows, we're using the same colors that we've used on the face through the brows, so all that over just goes right through the makeup and turns it into like a, a hazy bronzy look. Hazy bronzy look. <laughs>